Bees are familiar and well-loved insects, and here in the northeast there are around a hundred different bee species known here. However, there is still a lot we can learn about their distributions, and your records can really help to plug gaps in our knowledge and really add to our understanding of bees in the northeast. And that's why we are encouraging you to take part in the northeast bee hunt and add your sightings to the region's map. Last year over 170 of you took part in the first year of the bay hunt and together generated over 2,400 records. Most of these records were from gardens and parks, really demonstrating the value of taking a closer look at wildlife at home. This year the North East Bay Hunt has 8 target bay species to look out for. These are some of our most distinctive species and can be found close to home in our gardens, parks and other green spaces. Three of these target bee species are only out during the spring time, so now is the perfect time to get involved and look out for them. Taking part is simple. When you find a bee, you need to make a note of what you have found, when you found it, put your name in as well as to who and where you found it. You submit your record using the iRecord form on the Bee Hunt web pages. Bees can be found where the right flowers are. So early in the year look out for bees on willow and blackthorn, but also look out for them on dandelions as well, and garden plants such as flowering currant. Throughout summer you can find bees on a wide variety of wildflowers and garden plants. Taking a photo of the bees you see is really a good way of learning how to identify them because it can help you look at some of the features. However, taking a still photo is quite difficult because they're fast moving. So one tip is to use video and then you can freeze the video at times to look at the parts of the bee and then maybe that will help with your identification. Another thing you can do, of course, is to capture the bees, especially if they're visiting a flower, by popping it into a pot or a tube, having a close look at it, and then releasing it back onto the flower when you've looked at it. To help you identify the bees, we've got lots of information on the web pages for the bee hunt, and there are lots of images there as well. And if you want to find out more or, or look in more detail, then there's an excellent uh, book by Stephen Falk called A Field Guide to the Bees of Great Britain, which uh, gives you lots and lots of information. In addition, the Bees, Wasps and Ants Recording Society, or Bee Wars for short, have got a huge amount of useful identification tips and guides and photos and, and so on on their website. Don't forget to share your sightings that you make with the hashtag and keep sending those records in. Happy bee spotting. <laughs>